So let's just start off with the Preferential Procurement uh, Policy Framework Act and the regulations that came out in December. Mm -hmm. um, the state-owned enterprises such as ESKIM, such as AXA, such as Transnet, they have been exempted, um, in fact, by special notice uh, by the Minister on the 7th of December as well, when these regulations have to be uh, uh, approved. Um, and it exempts them from um, complying with the regulations as it stands. Um, the one issue that we have, for example, is that um, um, you know it's taken it's taken six or seven years for us to get the scorecards right, and you know there's been a lot of work gone into you know making sure that the uh, that the scorecards address the right issues, and we have the generic scorecard, and we have the construction sector scorecard. Um, our members fairly and squarely fall into the construction sector scorecard. But we have some state-owned enterprises, for example, that are using the scorecard and uh, giving credibility to the scorecard, but they're going for the generic scorecard. Now, when our members are working for government, they are using the construction sector scorecard, and when they're working with some state-owned enterprises, they're required to use the generic scorecard. Now, it, it, it brings a big confusion in the industry. The construction sector scorecard is section 9 promulgated in terms of the double Triple BWE Act, as is the generic scorecard, so it has the same status. And people employing our services should be using the construction sector scorecard, as from the 7th of December, except for the SAEs that have been exempted. Changes coming in in terms of the generic codes will have to be absorbed by the sector codes. And our comment through to BUSA and BUSA's comment is we're generally very supportive of those changes, with the exemption of this SOE exemption. We have just engaged through the DTI now, um, and we are, uh, there's a process by which we go through to put an application together to designate our sector as uh, designated for local procurement, and we hope that the minister will look favorably upon that application.